morning guys welcome back to my channel welcome to Jodie Mae's channel I hope you're all well this is your channel too bestie because this is where we get our lives leveled up together we spend productive positive happy days together and today we are going to spend the whole day together going to film a little day in the life it's currently half six I just got to the gym I am going to train legs it's Monday morning we're here to start the week off strong together we've got a productive day ahead of us and I thought we would start the day off I've got the heat on which is my number one rule to turn off before you get to the gym so you don't sit in here and procrastinate but i thought we could spend the day together start the week off and i'll bring you along my day so just wanted to say good morning and let's go to the gym bestie it's leg day <laughs> I've got some teeth night with whitening strips on so I can't really talk I find it a bit hard to talk with them on and I feel like I sound funny even though I don't know if I do I'm gonna do my skincare and I'll talk to you in a little bit when I've got them off I only have to have them on for another like 15 minutes so I'll come back Okay guys, teeth whitening strips are off. I think this is like my sixth or seventh time doing it and I can actually start to see like where the stains are breaking up. So, I mean, I'll keep going with it. It says to do it for 30 days, but they haven't made my teeth sensitive at all. I don't think they, I mean, they're non-peroxide, whatever that means, if that means anything to you guys. And I don't think they're like almost strong enough to make your teeth sensitive like i know some like you put it on and like instantly like they're not white but they're a lot different like this is definitely a slower process so i guess if you do have sensitive teeth try it they're on my tiktok shop but i think they're by a brand called beacon field anyway i made myself a matcha and it's best oh, i forgot my spoon actually did i feel my spoon it's best time of the day anyway because i've got my overnight wheat a bit and I have them biscoff flavoured they're unreal you need to try I'm gonna make them with you guys later because I've had so many dms of like you guys being tell me the recipe now so I thought right I will show you I'll do it with you like it's so easy so don't think it's gonna be this complicated thing but mmm that's a good matcha I was gonna have a coffee again I had a coffee when I got back from the gym but then I thought me and Mia will probably go for a coffee in a little bit so i thought i'll mix it up and have a matcha but i just got that matcha powder from tesco actually and it was it's called vivid matcha it's really affordable little sachets so i'm gonna go in with my dream radiant liquid let me know please guys i need a new foundation this week as you can see this is pretty empty and i've got no other foundations mia recommended the collection halo and no the collection flawless filter dupe and elf halo to me but if you guys have got a favorite drugstore foundation you know what i like i like a dewy i don't really like this it's quite matte 
I really love Maybelline Dr Dream Urban Cover and I thought that this was the new version of that which is why I got it but I don't think it is because it's nothing like it. Uh, so I don't know maybe I'll try and see if I can find that but if you guys have just got a favourite foundation that you think I would like please let me know because I literally need one this week. I should have asked you guys in the weekly vlog. So I have tried to put as much of that on as possible and yeah it's Monday so I thought we could say what we are grateful for and start the week off strong. Our Sisters and Souls episode this morning was all about inner peace and protecting it and keeping it and like how to get inner peace and how to keep it in your life and how to protect your happiness and like not to get so wrapped up in things and like let them consume you and control you and just to live like a really calm like peaceful life and keep your vibration high it was very much that vibe so if that sounds interesting to you definitely listen honestly I'm so proud of the podcast like the community we've got growing the episodes like we put so much thought and effort into it and it's just so nice to see you guys like really loving it and like really like connecting with our episodes so yeah a little shout out to myself and Mia on that and yeah feeling good so three things that I'm grateful for this Monday firstly I am grateful for my boyfriend it's his birthday this week so this week is very much all about celebrating him and I'm just really grateful to have found such a like positive life partner who supports me and loves me and celebrates me as much as I do him like that's such a special we have such a special bond like such a good thing going on and I'm just really grateful for him so that's my number one number two I'm so grateful for my dogs like the happiness these two girls bring me every day is crazy like I love them so much and I've come in from my shower and she's all curled up on my bed and I just thought honestly like that melts my heart and thirdly I am really grateful for waking up this week excited and hopeful and I feel like hope is such a blessing like when you are hopeful I feel like it just sums it up in the word hopeful like you're hopeful for the future you have faith you're excited you're like looking forward you're not looking backward and yeah so I feel like I'm grateful for hope in my life and the fact that I have hope in my heart and I just trust the universe that it's going to provide me with everything that I need, desire and I'm dreaming about. So yeah, those are my three affirmations. Let me know yours in the comments guys. Like don't just think no, comment them. One, two, three. Write them in your notes if you don't want to share them with the internet. But honestly, recognising what you are having in your life and what you are grateful for boosts your mood so much because you realize sometimes the things that you're sat down worrying about you don't need to be you have so much to be grateful for and honestly it just it takes the weight off these negative aspects of our life and it makes you realize how much you've actually got to be positive for and thankful for and how lucky you are and those like negative aspects don't seem so huge in your life when you're recognizing the positive so yeah let me know or write them in your notes whatever feels right to you but I would love to hear them if you guys feel comfortable sharing them so plans for the day I have got a little bit of work to do this morning once I've finished what I've got to do I've also got a parcel coming I've got Ollie's birthday present coming between half eight and half twelve so I've got to wait in for that because I don't want to miss it because I don't know where DPD take parcels I never really have DPD so I'm going to wait in for that and then this afternoon me and Mia are going to pop over to Stafford so you guys can come with us. We'll look around H&M, Primark and sorry you died. What I was trying to say is you can come shopping with us. I think we're going to grab a coffee, go on a little bestie shopping trip. So yeah, I, I'm going to eat my breakfast and then I'm going to put you guys on charge because both my batteries are pretty low. But I just wanted to show you what my breakfast looks like. So... Weetabix with Biscoff and yoghurt on top and I always top it with blueberries and chia seeds. So cheers to that. Mm -mm. Is anyone else like me and when they find a food they love, like it's all they eat. I've been through so many phases 
smoothies, this, boiled eggs. I went for a big, big phase in sixth form <laughs> of like smoked salmon and Philadelphia on bagels. Philadelphia on bagels, full stop. But I would have Fridays off sixth form just to put like how my day is planned out. And I would get up, I'd go to the gym and on my way back every single week, I'd go to Morrison's, I'd get all the ingredients and I would go home and make them. And I just thought my life is made. Like I'm so happy. Like I have so much happiness in this meal. That's how I feel about this. I just love it. Before I go, I just got a parcel. It's from Glaze. I thought we should open it. If you go back a couple weekly vlogs, I did use one on my hair. It wasn't this colour though, it was chocolate brown. Chocolate brown. This is sleek espresso. It looks a bit more like rich brown. The other one was a bit more like Albany. And my hair's already quite that colour. So they kindly sent it me. So thank you guys. I will use it at some point to be fair. I did really like what it did to my hair. It lasted. It's come out now. But I think I probably put it in like a month ago. And it's meant to wash, last 10 washes. I don't wash my hair that often. But I don't know. Let me know if you've used it. But I will use this one. This is a sleek espresso colour. So looks a bit more like black whereas the other one if you remember it made my hands go like fully red this looks a bit more like blacky brown but it's quite fun like you get to experiment different hair colors without having like to dedicate to like a permanent dye if you don't know what it is it's basically like a semi-permanent high shine conditioning treatment it's like a hair dye and treatment all in one so Thank you guys, and I will be back when I am ready for the day. We are ready for the day. I didn't know what to wear, so I thought I'd go for this like black and khaki outfit, and then I'm thinking these sunnies from Missy Empire would be a cute vibe. So, OOTD details, this is another version, and this is literally the biggest, I don't know, Laskins and i love it i have had some questions being like which do you prefer is adenola worth it do you think this is better and it, i don't think it's necessarily better but it's different and i just think i personally really like this material it i don't know if you felt them like you will know what i'm talking about i i can't say which one i prefer like i'm not saying this is better than adenola and i'm not saying adenola is better than this like they're different, they're the same vibe, but they're different, and I love both. So, I <laughs> can't give you an answer, but these are my OT details anyway. So I've got my Uggs on, because I'm not sure how much longer Uggs are going to be around, but I thought I might be able to just get them out quickly, the end of April. Then I've got the Zara jacket, my new Primark bag, Missy Empire glasses. These are, I think, Primark earrings, Abbott Lion necklace, and just some Boohoo black jogger so i thought i'd just go like black and khaki cool comfy coffee date vibes so we are gonna spray some perfume i think i'm gonna go mark jacobs decadent i feel like it goes with my vibe frankie's gonna start sneezing now <laughs> her nose again before i go lip combo is cashmere in revolution no revolution in cashmere lipstick and you are magic by you glow gloss i'm gonna put those in my bag i've got my primark returns i'm gonna try and exchange that leather jacket for one bigger size just because i tried it on with a zip up and it's not quite like big enough so i'm gonna see if they've got a bigger size if not we'll just see but i've got my primark returns I am ready and I will see you guys in the car. Right, things I'm obsessed with at the moment, especially when I'm in the car, are one, a pair of sunnies. These have become my resident car sunnies, but I'll wear the black ones today for the sake of the outfit. Also, my Walida Skin Food lip balm. You already know that, did I lock the front door? Yeah. You already know that I was obsessed with the face. And now the lips, oh my God. I've got a lipstick on it now. It's annoying. It's the best. I had the driest, like, worst cracked lips, honestly, after I'd gone to Wales because of the weather. Oh, also, my Stanley Jude. That's number three. 
they were awful and i just was like i do not know what to do like i thought this is just gonna be my lips like they're so bad so chapped and as soon as i got that i'm not even joking almost instantly they were back to normal and i was like what the hell and they've never been like they've never felt better they've never been softer so love that so those are my car essentials let's just put my favorite playlist on looking my body in the mirror and i was very happy no license, I was struggling with violence. Thick thighs, cross when you look into my brown eyes. You want it like I want it. And what you got? A million is a beauty and a beat. Thank God for mom and dad was with you two to death. We're in Starbies. Bites I still haven't tried. Haven't you? No. And I'm surprised you're saying it like that because I don't. You like I it? Don't, I know, but they just make me feel a bit gross. You into that? I've seen how many calories in it. I'm not that hungry, but I know I'm going to have FOMO watching you eat. I don't know if to get a. Um, I don't know if to get a tuna melt panini. Yeah, we either get one of these from here or we get a twister wrap. What would you prefer? Depends how long we're gonna be here. <laughs> what do you think? I mean, we'll be here what? Half, Half an hour. Should we wait? Should we buy us out the snack? Should we get a twist of that? Okay. I feel like we'd enjoy that. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna eat. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna eat good. good. <laughs> if you're gonna do something bad, you may well do it. Hello. Hello. Please, can I get an iced matcha latte? And then, can we get a medium iced? Skinny caramel macchiato, please. Um, yes, please. Did you want almond milk? Yes, please. Uh, caramel mac for me. Matcha moon for me. Look at that caramel drizzle. She did it good. I watched that. She was like this. Can you tell me what makes it skinny? Do you know? What does it sound about? Take my fat milk. I know it's almond, I know it's almond milk. So it's one Starbucks. <laughs> Two single espressos, almond milk. I don't know. Is it the, is it caramel it's fruit? Like well, I've never had one with almond it's milk. Vanilla. That's oh, yeah, That's of vanilla with caramel juice. So maybe it's sugar free. Yeah, you can bring dogs in. Oh, I didn't know that. Apparently, every time it's in the UK. Really? Yeah. Apparently. Mm -hmm. right. I think it's the almond milk. Throwing it up. Mm, big clump of caramel though. To make it all better. I mean it's Monday, so. Do you it's too vanilla? And down the milk together. Oh, okay. It's not always the vibe, is it? It's alright. Before you drink it, let's get you a thing. I'll no, try the um, lip the gossip. Oh. No, the lip liner even. I've got lip gloss. And stick, just no liner. Need anything else? Mia Moo's going to take you on a ride to get Jodie a picture. We do like a little Starbucks one. Well, yeah. Oh, there's two food dolls in here. Cockapoo. Frank. Frank, you're small. What? She ran. You know, I've got red milk farm when you come in back to the car. Yeah. And like, you can see milk farm. Well, yeah. And there's like a gap in the fence. Frankie runs through the gap in the in the hedge Why? onto the car park. And I thought she's gonna like, Why does like, she do that? Like, we were ready. Oh what? There's no need for that, Frankie. I know. 
Yeah, don't be such a dick. Well, no, that's the thing. You don't be hard. You get a lot. Hey, Robert. Um, oh, the little man behind. Um, I'll show you. I'll put you on matcha so you can see the pose. Hey, come. Hang on, I've got a trick. Here you go. Does that look weird or not? I don't think so. Just sort your phone out. Stew's on. <laughs> Stew's <laughs> ruining it. It's always Stew. Not it's Stew. <laughs> Stew, no. <laughs> See what you think. I'm happy. I'm happy. What are they from? Shooting paint. That sounds extreme. You need to get. You need to get some storage on this, sweetheart. Gosh, you really can tell it's a day in the life. All the chatting. Um, so, you like them? Happy with those? Princess is happy. So that's good. Primark. Look at these pajamas, guys. Show you see these. How cute! But well, they're only short. in short, so we're sad because we're not into. And then look, if you're a neutral queen, if these were in long, I would get love them. Love them. The colour is so cute. But these. These are cute too, and I love the cobalt blue. They're only. These are so cute. They're all thirty. And these ones, guys. I just feel like these are so I think cute. Be bright for now. They're like camo pastel, aren't I'm, they? I'm stuck between, guys. Jode says the black. I think just, I think go class. You Classic. can't get bored. That's the only thing I'm thinking. That's true. And like, I feel like when I get, sometimes when I not want to be in it. Yeah, whereas black. Really. It's fine. Like good for tan. Good for period. There's not much. You can't really stain them. Yeah. We looked for the bronzing drops, but. Not here, sold out, guys. Yeah, but if you've got them, let us know and what you think. Yeah, because we really want to We know. want them, but if everyone's like, these are rubbish. Yeah, oh, and so I feel like people can say they're as good, but I don't know if I believe that. I can't remember what Amelia, what did Amelia what think? Did, did she? Oh, oh they're very cute. cute. They're so cute. And they're they long. feel soft as well, feel them. Oh yeah, they do. These remind me of like the version of what we got last year. Oh yeah. They, look they are, aren't they? Yeah. Ours were blue and white. For a matching road trip. I wonder what the Sweet Chili wraps are like. They're not wraps, they're the bites. I think I would like them, but I, I'm, I don't think me they're would. worth it. Yeah, I don't think you'd like them for two and I had a Taco Bell on Saturday. It was so did nice. you? After your nap? Yeah. No, before the nap. But did you know it after before the nap? <gasps> what yeah. did you get? No, so we went on the walk. Yeah, what? I'm confused then. We went on the walk, dropped the yeah, we went Hiya. on the walk, dropped Hiya. the dogs home. Thank you. Thank you. And then napped. So where did you go for a walk? We went for a walk at Bliffield Reservoir. And then the flower meadow. And then oh, no, thank you. Cheers. So, so we went, went on a big walk, it was like an hour and a half. So you went for a big time. walk. Drop dogs. Drop dogs off. Came to Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. Yeah. What did you have? I had the seven layer. I can hear us. The second layer, we've got scissors and souls on. <laughs> Thank really you. Bye. Thank you. We had seven layer burrito, and it's the vegetarian What's the one. the seven layer burrito? Yeah, I don't know. I couldn't name the seven layer, but it's like black it's beans, guacamole. Thank you. Uh, lettuce. I don't know what the other layers are, but there must be seven. It's in the name. You'd like to hope yeah, so. Yeah, but I don't know what they are. I just I just love the beans and the guacamole. You just bite that bit of wrap on me. Oh, I've got a bit of chicken. Oh, what a treat. <laughs> um, um, and I had that as a meal with chips. And what do you think? Did I have peach iced tea? Because mm. I did peach iced tea, yeah. I think they're owned by the same people, maybe. Because they have the same people. Do you have low calorie options? Or not? Taco Bell? Mm. Yeah. It's not a high calorie. No. Mm -mm. Um, well, did I have? And then I always have the soft chicken taco. If you can go right here, that's soft really chicken. good. Is it? Mm, and it's got like um, a bit like peri mayo vibes. Mm. It's really nice. I've only ever been once. It's so good. 
I need to get with it. Mm. But it's like, if I were to come, I'd probably choose Nando's over that. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Well, I was what have fancy in Nando's really heavily. And then we had the Taco Bell and I thought, do I want to drive to Stafford again? And then mm. I was like, don't really fancy chips again. Like, I thought I want something more. Yeah. Um, like a Montmorey. Mm. That's why we went to Waggers. I really, I did enjoy what like did the, you have? Oh, you had the... I had katsu kuru noodles and then I had duck gyozas. Mm. Oh, I just love go The duck gyozas. Me too. They're the they best, They were so they? crispy. Fuck best me. Best thing on the menu. Right, if you don't like them, what? It's the sauce. Mm. That like hoisty sweet sauce too. Everything. I think they um like they just nail it. Is it pastry? Or what is it? I don't know. I guess so. Like re it's really crispy though, mm. isn't it? <laughs> Dumping. To the girl who said this girl commented, don't tell you and she was like, no. um Jodie, I couldn't watch half. It was my weekly vlog last week. Jodie, I couldn't watch half of the vlog because watching people eat makes me feel really uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. the... oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, <laughs> but I we literally all, all I did do in that vlog was eat. But I just love eating. What? Well, this is obviously no disrespect, but like, I love watching people eat. Me not me too. personally, because I. I don't know, I just love watching people enjoy their food. Like, I feel me like too. a mukbang is so satisfying. Mm. I'm like. Because me and Joda are going to, we were talking about doing a mukbang, but now we can do one waggers and we can do one Greek. Oh, yeah, we could, yeah. Mm. Like a couple of weeks apart, so yeah. we've both got one. Because mm -hmm. now we've got a Greek that's here for good. Yes, yeah, so and our dreams have come true. Literally, yeah. Guys, that Greek that we had last week staying. So let us, no, not even let us know. Watch out for a question box. Yeah, because so I had um, a lot yeah. of requests for a mukbang from, from, from me and Joe, like a girly chat. Mm -hmm. And when you know we could talk for hours. Absolutely. Give us some good topics and we will yabber on. Got any dilemmas? Got any life issues? Mm -hmm. Any We're problems here. you're dealing with? Anything you just want a second opinion on from your sisters? Mm. We're here. That wraps good today. Mm. I love it when it's like really been toasted. Mm. Like someone's really gone. Mm. No, because the last one you had your wrap was cold, wasn't it? Remember? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? You didn't. You weren't. A... It was literally like they got the wrap out the fridge. Let's get away for the ride, guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, whereas when it's been toasted, it just gives it that extra yeah. cosy feel, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, agreed. And cow food chicken is just everything. Mm. Eleven herbs and spices. Is that what it is? Yeah. Why is it so good? You know what I, oh, in that Think and Grow Rich book actually, mm. it says about how McDonald's was made. Mm. Yeah, so this man, right, he was selling milkshake machines. Yeah. And he weren't really selling them, like. It wasn't going very well. He was well. making an okay living, but like, he weren't blowing up for him. He come across these two brothers and they were like, oh yeah, like we have a little burger shop and he, they did like burgers, fries and milkshakes and they were like, we'll buy like 10 off you or something like, they brought a lot off him and he thought, God, like who are these people? He went to see them and he was like, right. He's like, what you've got going on here is so good. He was like, let me was take- Was it Ronald? Yeah. Well, it was, yeah, it was the Ronald McDonald's Donald, brothers. It? I don't know what the- Yeah, probably Ronald McDonald, the clown. Yeah, maybe that's what, where their names come from. So he was like, let me take your idea and put it all across America. And then that's literally how fast food was created. McDonald's the first? Yeah. He like, the man who sold the milk milkshakes was like, we need to take this all over the country. So he did, he like took it off and then he ended up, I think, buying the company off them and franchising it all over the world. And now, I know McDonald's is franchise, so you couldn't answer it, but like imagine working out how much just what our one yeah. McDonald's makes. Well, the one who owns ours, yeah, he owns the three. He owns the Canuck one. It's called David. He owns the Canuck one, the Longford one, and then he pays. Fuck me. He must be raking it in. Fucking raking it in. We, we need to go to. Oh no, oh, yeah, we need Seabrook. to get Seabrook crisps, guys. I'm gonna go to um, Walter Towers on Wednesday, I'm and we so need to get the two for one. I'm so nervous. I'm so excited. Nervous, excited. We're gonna be like this. Yeah, literally, hold hands. Why do you want me to walk through the gates? That feeling of walking through the gates at Ontario never gets old. It's it's such a nostalgic kid feeling, and yeah. like that is the perfect example of making your inner child happy. Literally. Like We're I've been thinking about day. it since we spoke about it. Like at some points in the day, I've been like, <laughs> have you? I know. 
<laughs> we and we love our favourite roads are thirties. <laughs> Sonic Spin Ball. Uh, and then like what else is that? Uh, and that's the new one. Oh yeah, the new one will have to go on the new one. Yeah. We're hoping it won't be that busy, but it'll be in the weekly vlog, guys. I've never been on the Smiler. I have. I wouldn't go on it again. No. I, I don't know. like it. I didn't enjoy it, and then the whole saga put me off more. It breaks down multiple times. Yeah, it just always... I don't know. I went on it, and it's horrible because you have to... So you're on it, and then you go vertically back 90 degrees, so you're like... Oh, that. so you're like that? Yeah, and then you go up this long thing. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. Stop it! Yeah. Horrible. I and it's like such it. a big coaster. Like, there's so many twists and turns. Yeah, and then, don't you do some in the dark or no? Is that not right? I think you do are you go in, in the, the dark station? to start with. I think that is at the start. I think you are in the dark. I think you go and you drop in the dark. It was horrible. I would never Whereas, like 13, you don't mind that. 13 you when train. you go backwards. Ah! Yeah. Do you know what it's good about 13 is the fact that like it's not as scary because you haven't got the big bar. Exactly. It it's all so about the safety restraint of yeah. how dangerous the ride is. You you just sat on you mean 13 like this? Yeah. Um, you literally do you have a do we have a lap bar? I think yeah. No, yeah they just, just pull, pull the, the train down, don't they? And that doesn't feel so no. scary. Whereas like when air, you've got the thing. air scares me only purely because like I know they wouldn't, but if you had that ever released, you'd straight onto your face. Yeah. Oh, right. Do you know what do you know what, no, do you know what I mean though? Yeah. Like because you are vertical, like they have to have so many restraints. And I do like Nemesis too. See, I'm nervous for that. I'm worried I about think that. We'll be one. okay. I think that will be our daredevil part of the day. I think we do a few rides, warm ourselves yeah, can I warm up. Warm ourselves up. Yeah, we're not gonna go straight Nemesis. Because I think I will throw up on the floor. Yeah, and last time we went, we just let the boys go on Oblivion because that's horrible. I I love have you ever been on? Yeah. You have? I have been on. Is it would you go on again? It scares me. The only way I would go on it is if I was with Ollie and I was just trying out and beat you know. Would you go on it? If he was like, come on, I want to go on it. And I'm like, mm. would you, would you it's be frightened? Horrible. It's because you go really, really slowly like this. Yeah, it's the... And it, yeah, it is, and then you're there and you're waiting and you're waiting and you're like, fuck, fuck. And then, <laughs> what's the drop line? I can't, this. I can't describe it. Have you ever been on the one at Drayton Manor when you go all the way to the top? You know that really neat, yeah, I, don't, I don't like that. And then have you, you been just, on it? It's the feeling of the the <gasps> the really the really rush. Have you been on it? Yes, yes, I have. <gasps> What's it called? Um, ap apocalypse. Apocalypse. Yeah. Apocalypse. <gasps> I went on it in year seven. Those, oh god, the girls I went with were like, "Come on, it's fine." And I got on it. I started crying. I said, "I don't want to go on it. Please let me off. Yeah, like, like, I don't want to do it." They wouldn't release me. They made me fucking off to the top. And I'm at the top as a phone. I'm like, "Ooh." It, there's, and, and that's always because you sat on. Yeah. You're, you're like dangling. Yeah. You're dangling. You feet are dangling. You're so hard. You don't. It's disgusting. That's that's worse than oblivion, I think. Is it? Yeah, because you're so high, like... And then I think you drop... Oh, God, fire engine. You don't see many fire engines, no, do you? No, all right. Ambulances are really common, but fire engines, not so much. I think at a, po a couple of... You drop, and then you drop. Yeah, you do you a little one, then you do a huge... That <laughs> you just brought about the memory. You go I'm like that, and yeah. then the full shebang. Um, shall I go left? Uh, go yeah. the way we can. So, yeah, we're going to we'll, go we're back. We're going to get Seabrook Crisps. Yep, Tesco. Tesco. Um, and then we're gonna go back. What time is it? What time are you seeing you now? o'clock. I mean, oh, it's three o'clock. I don't know if she'll want to walk if it's. Oh, true. Sure. <laughs> if Peter Patters are on the mm. way. Um, and then maybe we should do the Mika Palace yeah. tonight. I feel like it's gonna be a big activity. Yeah. Sit and properly do it. So we're gonna. We'll plan SNS. We'll plan, yeah, we need to order some things for the Black like, Sisters and Souls yeah. giveaway and more merch ideas, which yes. is exciting. I wrote a good few things in my notes today. Have you found the notebook yet? No. Where is she? Have you found your purse? Right, no. I, I have a look if it's under the seat. I, I have had a look for you, but I just have a double check. I just not in the glove box or anything. Oh God! Nearly hit my head there. Right, um, BRB. Yeah, bye. This is how our giras is up, guys. This is all this chicken one. I'm gonna have halloumi in mine, but we've got tzatziki, lettuce, onion, and chicken in this one. Yep.
dishevelled, but time for our weekly bath. My pat's all came out too. Look at that. Look how long it is. Whoa. That also looks like I've got food in it. Ew. <laughs> anyway, I am getting ready for a bath. I've, it's time to scrub my tan off. It's Monday night and I want to be fresh on Wednesday. So I'm going to have a bath tonight and have a bath on tomorrow night. And then I'll be clean to tan on Tuesday evening. So that is the plan. To be fair, this tan was this one. If you watched the vlog last week, you'll know I tried this Nor Skin. And you know what? It wasn't the darkest tan, but you guys know like I'm not a massive fan of dark tans. By the way, I'm just going to take my makeup off using this. So like it was fine. It was a really nice like bronzy colour. It wasn't green. It wasn't, it was more of like a red. It looked green when I put it on, but it actually was quite red in reality. And it hasn't like gone uh, tiger bread I was trying to think of the term there. It's just like faded, like if you can see in the light. It's just faded into like a paler colour. The only place it's got like stubborn is around my ankles, but my ankles are just really stubborn in general. Like no matter what tan I use, it's always hard to get it off my ankles. So that's no surprise. But I'm gonna take my makeup off, jump in the bath, have an hour or so soaking. I haven't got any baby oil, which is annoying, so that's normally my hack to get my tan off. But we had gyros for dinner, it was so nice. Me and Mia just booked Alton Towers and planned a little bit of SNS stuff, which is so exciting. So let us know what you want to see from SNS. I feel like it's so fun having more of a like lifestyle, I guess. I mean it's not a brand, but like it is a brand at the same time. Like it's really fun. Like there's so many avenues we can go down, and you guys have got so many like ideas that we really want to do, like events and merch and uh what was the other one? The, a book club we really want to start a book club and one of you lovely girls actually like messaged just quite a good logistical way of doing it so that it's fair for everyone we're all on the same time whatever so i think we might look into starting that very soon and yeah just had a productive day really just brainstorming and getting inspired and excited so i'm gonna wash this off run my bath and let's have a whole time i can't open my other eye i feel like i've got mascara in it Hello guys, one sec. Mildred, you paused. I'm just watching Mia's vlog, just jumped out the bath. Make sure you don't fall. I am going to put some oil in my hair. So I washed my hair last Monday and it's now Monday. So I washed it a week ago and guys, it's not greasy at all. This is what's so crazy about training your hair. And this doesn't happen for me every week, but some weeks my hair just does not get greasy and like i've had it down quite a few days this week but i've put no product in it so it's still feeling pretty good like i'm not saying i could have it down and vibe but like it's not doesn't look a week old this looks like what my like day free hair used to look like but i'm just gonna run some of because the grow gorgeous oil through and this is their intense hair growth serum and i just like to put this all around my head so I'm waiting to wash it because I want to scrape it back for Alton Towers on Wednesday because what's the point of like having your hair down? It's going to get one so like luggy and two just like I just rather have it scraped back for a long day like that. So I'm going to start the oil process and then on Wednesday night I will probably mask it and wash it on Thursday. But I just use this scalp brush from like Amazon or something. Well, this one is from Amazon, but you can honestly get them from anywhere, like TK Maxx, TikTok Sharp, b and They just, like, my biggest tip is get one with, like, really flexible, like, rubber spikes. And then it really allows you to, like, give your scalp a good massage and rub and whatever. So, skincare. So, gonna go in with these products. This is the L'Oreal Revita Lift Filler and um, this is the face serum and really love it and then I also really love the eye serum. I really love the moisturiser too but I don't know where I've put it. 
I feel like since I come back from Wales, even though we literally went for like three or four days, I just misplaced everything. Like I only just found my Clinique cleanser last week. I went like a whole week without it. I'm also going to go in with the Ole Hendrickson Dark Spot Toner and also the Sweet Dreams Night Moisturiser. I'm just going to go in first of all with the toner. I really love Ole Hendrickson actually. I really love their cleanser. I used to literally use that religiously, their orange one. I know Lydia really likes it. But I really love their products. I just stopped buying them. And yeah, but they are really good if you're looking for a good toner. And I saw that Aldi actually were doing a little dupe of the... Um, the orange toner the cleanser i feel like i can't talk because i've been in the bath i feel a little bit a little bit gloopy but i was like gosh i'm just gonna let that die in you guys know what i mean obviously cannot talk i need to clean my makeup brush is so bad i've been saying it for so long i'm actually just a joke with makeup brushes but i don't use them that often so i almost can't be bothered but i use the brush over the weekend and because I didn't use my beauty blend, I thought I'd mix it up. And I come out in like lots of little spots. And I feel like that is just from the bacteria off the brushes. And it made me feel like, oh gosh, do so you really need to get your act together and do your makeup brushes? Because that's disgusting. So that's definitely on my to-do list this week. I'm putting it out there as an intention. And this is literally, other than the Nature Spy, Nature Spell, the eye spy serum this is my other favorite eye serum i love both of them they're a little bit different the nature spell one's a little bit more like creamy and when you put it on your skin it it adds a bit more of a glow i guess but i really like the roller blades of this and just the feel of it, it just like that i think they work well together the face and the eye serum so love that oh my god did you like how i made the biscoff Weetabix but I just throw that in there for you guys and then I'm going to lock all of that moisture in using the Sweet Dreams Hydrating Night Moisturiser if you're looking for a good like nighttime moisturiser this one by Bondi is really good I would mix it in with my tanning drops but because it's tanning day tomorrow I'm just going to have a natural day so I'm not going to put any tanning drops on but sometimes what I do do is mix them in and like bring them down my neck if i was not like, going to be filming or something tomorrow that's what i would do but tomorrow we're just going to record the podcast and things so i don't really need to oh i feel so much better also gonna i'm just gonna do all my self-care bits because sometimes you need to do them i'm also gonna go in with this cuticle oil on my biab this i've had them done about a week and a half and this is them they haven't actually grown out that much yet but i do like can tell a big difference the days i this is, the days i do oh my god there we go i can tell a difference the like the weeks and i can tell a difference the weeks and the sets oh gosh i really can't talk that i use this and I don't. So if you feel like your biab or your acrylics or whatever aren't lasting very well and they're, they're cr crumbling and chipping and coming away from the nail, try some cuticle oil. I just got this off Amazon. It was literally like £7 and it's lasted me literally like a year. I don't put it on that often, but it is a big fat thing and you literally put the tiniest amount on your nail. So it's going to take you so long to get through it. Gosh, we love a self-care night. We love a bubble bath. We love watching YouTube. We love reading our book, putting our comfy pyjamas on, doing our skincare. Brilliant night. Right, for the rest of the evening, I'm probably just gonna read my book, probably have a green tea or something before I go to bed and just chill. So if I check back in with you, brilliant. If I don't, I love you all so much. Thank you for spending a, just a very realistic day with me. I like mixing it up sometimes and just spending the day a little bit more in depthly with you guys. So if you did enjoy it, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much to me if you did and I will catch you guys in the next one. Love you.